and welcome back to another video. So today I have the Derwent Metallic Pencils. This is the anniversary gift set. There are 20 pencils in here. I am so excited about these. These were Happy Mail. <laughs> And so I was so excited when these got delivered because I do not yet have a set of metallic colored pencils. This is my very first set. I do have some metallic pencils like in the color 240 set and some metallics that have come mixed in other bigger sets, but I don't have just an individual metallic colored pencil set. So I am so excited about these. We're going to take a look at these pencils today. We're going to swatch out all the colors. We are going to do a blend test and we're going to do all of the things I usually do in my colored pencil reviews. If you check the description box down below, you will find everything down there that you see in this video, as well as links to my Facebook group, my email list, my Etsy shop, and my Patreon if you would like to support me there. I also now have channel membership, and you can find more out about that by clicking the join button down below the video. Okay, y'all, so these just came from Amazon a little while ago, and I really wanted to be able to use them, so of course y'all know I have to do a video for them first <laughs> and I didn't want them sitting there any longer so I wanted to get the video out of the way so I can get using these on one of my coloring pages. I'm so excited about these pencils. I have heard really good things about these. Now they did get delivered to me from Amazon in an envelope so I wanted to open them up right away and make sure all my pencils were intact and they looked good. I know that a lot of times I will unbox everything from the very beginning so y'all could see the Amazon packaging and everything in these videos. When when you have a smaller package, Amazon always sends everything in a bag. <laughs> so this is what the box looks like. It's really, really nice. So it just says metallic pencils, gift set. This is the 20th anniversary gift set. Shimmering metallic color, outstanding on dark paper. We are gonna test that out in this video. Professional quality. And then it says down here that there are 20 pencils. Now when you open this, it is magnetic, which is really nice. So these pencils will probably stay in here and not come out because there are only 20 colors. But the packaging is super, super nice. So let's go ahead and take a closer look at these pencils. So we do have the color dipped tip. This one is a really pretty metallic magenta type color. We get the black, we get the black ring just below the color dip tip. It says here pink 17 on the barrel. These pencils have a beautiful copper barrel. It's really pretty. It does say Derwent Metallic here, made in Britain. The writing is in black, so it really does stand off of the copper color on the barrel, which is really nice. Here's what the tip of the pencil looks like when it comes to you. So it does have the flat tip on it. And the reason they do that, I believe, is just to protect your pencils in shipping so you don't end up with broken leads on your pencils. Something else to make note of with these pencils is they do have a hexagonal barrel. I feel like sometimes with the hexagonal pencils, the way that they lay in your hand or rest in your hand, I feel like it makes them much easier to use. But for some people, they feel differently. I don't know, you'll have to let me know what you think about hexagonal pencils and the comfort level in your hand as you're coloring down in the comments below, but I tend to really like the hexagonal pencils. Now I did do a little bit of research on these pencils. I cannot find anywhere on any websites if these are wax-based pencil or an oil-based pencils. We are gonna do a swatch of the colors, so I will definitely let you know how they lay down and you'll be able to see that. As far as light fastness, I did find some information online where it did say that Derwent uses the blue wool scale for their ratings, where six is good, seven is very good, and eight is excellent. And all of the colors in this set that are rated eight, except for the yellow. So this is the yellow right here. It looks more like a very olive green, but this is the yellow pencil. But the yellow is a seven. The silver is a five. And the silver rose and pink are both rated at two. So the silver rose and the pink are probably not gonna do really well as far as holding up to light over time. But all the rest of them in this set are gonna do really, really well on your coloring pages as far as holding up 
far into the future. Now, as far as pricing, you can get these on Amazon right now for $34.30, which brings these to $1.71 per pencil, so not bad, especially considering their light fastness rating. If you are someone who likes to shop on Blick, I was not able to find this specific set there, but you can get some of their other metallic colored pencil sets. You can get the set of six for $13.45, which are just the bright colors. They have the pastel metallic colors, which is a set of six for $13.45. And then they have the traditional colors in a set of six for $13.45. And then a set of 12 with just various assorted colors for $19.16. So I think that this set with the 20 different colors is the biggest set that you could purchase. Until I received this set in the mail, I did not even know that this set existed. <laughs> I thought that the biggest set was 12, so I'm so excited to have these with all these extra colors. Now we're gonna move on to the sharpener test, and we're gonna see how well these do. We're gonna check the quality of the wood, see if the wood is on the harder side or the softer side, and we will be able to do that with the doll because it is a hand crank sharpener. These are two of my most favorite sharpeners. This is an electric pencil sharpener, and then this one, of course, has the hand crank on it. So this one makes it very easy to tell the quality of the wood on the pencils. So let's go ahead and try this out in the doll 133. I'm gonna go ahead and slide this in here and we are gonna turn the crank and see how easy it is to turn. Oh, and it's super easy to turn with these and you could see even though they are hexagonal, they worked really well in this pencil sharpener. This pencil sharpener is a great pencil sharpener. It works with most all pencils. But here's what the lead of the pencil looks like. Beautiful, nice, sharp lead. And let's try one more. I'm gonna go for something that has a little bit of red in it. So this is the pink. And I'm gonna put this in here and see if there is a difference. Because sometimes, depending upon the color of the pencil, it will have a little bit of a different feel. And I do think that the other one felt a little bit softer, but this one's still pretty soft and pretty easy to turn. And it stopped. And that is the beautiful lead on our pencil after sharpening it with the doll. And I'll show them both to you right up close so you could see that we have a perfect lead with both of those. So let's go ahead and try it now in the jar link. I just want to test it in the jar link because I know a lot of you have this pencil sharpener now and I would like to see how well they work in here. And because they have a hexagonal barrel, we are going to find out how well this pencil sharpener works with them. Now when you're using the jar link, always leave it on three. That tends to give most all of my pencils the perfect lead and works very well with where I want it to auto stop. And the auto stop on this pencil sharpener usually does work really, really good. Now, it was really easy to slide the pencil in there and it auto stopped. And so this is the lead we got with the jar link and I'm gonna show you that compared to the one with the doll. And you could see that they are extremely similar, if not almost exact. But both of these pencil sharpeners are absolutely wonderful. So I have gone through and sharpened all my pencils. And before we swatch them, I just wanted to review some of the colors that you do get in this set. I'm gonna hold this a little bit closer so y'all could see the leads on the pencils. I don't know how clear that is because we've got a black backing here on the case. And I do have them laying a little bit elevated here because I'm getting ready to swatch them. We do get a lot of colors over here on the end that have red or pink in them. So it starts with rose gold, pink gold, then we get pink, and then here we get a red. Then we're moving into the purples here, and we have a silver rose, this one is the actual purple, and then this one here is violet, so we're gonna start moving into the blues now. And as far as blues, we get an ice blue. Oh, I bet that's gorgeous. A blue, and then we're moving into the green, so we have a green, and then we have a turquoise here. This one is called silver mint. Oh, I bet that's gorgeous. And then yellow, we do get a gold. Here we get an antique gold, so we get a couple different golds in this set, and then we get a bronze, a copper. I think these three on the end are gonna be more of your silver type colors. So this one is graphite, this one is pewter, and then I think this is probably going to be silver. Yep, that is silver. So let's go ahead
ahead and start swatching these out. So I have two sheets of paper here. I've got black and white. Because they are metallics, we do want to swatch them out on the black paper as well so we could see what they look like one side right up against the other. So because there's only 20 pencils, we're gonna go ahead and swatch these out and I'm gonna share my thoughts as I swatch them out rather than setting it to music. So we're gonna start with the silver. Oh my goodness. Oh, that is pretty. Okay, now this is just a sheet of black paper that's kids construction paper. So it's not, you know, meant for colored pencils or anything like that, but that's just gorgeous. Oh, wow, look at that silver. Oh, that is super pretty. And these feel pretty soft and they're laid down. They feel a little bit more like a wax based pencil, but we will be able to determine a little bit more when I do the blend test. So this one here is pink gold. Oh my goodness. These are gorgeous. The color goes down so nicely. The next one is pink. Oh wow. These are gorgeous. Look at these colors y'all. Oh, <laughs> these are so pretty. I am so excited to have a full set of nothing but metallics. This next one is red. Oh my gosh, that's beautiful. The next one is silver rose. That's what it looks like on black. Now we're gonna come over here and lay it down on white. The next one is purple. Oh, these look gorgeous on black paper. I don't know, I almost think this purple one though may show up a little bit better on the white paper. Yeah, I think the purple shows up better over there. And I am gonna hold these up close to the camera. Oops. <laughs> I am gonna hold these up closer to the camera so that y'all could see the metallic finish in them. This is violet. And I think this one's gonna show up better on the white as well, definitely. These are going down really nicely on the paper and I'm sitting here spelling things wrong. <laughs> this one is ice blue. Oh, look at that. Oh my goodness. This one is blue. Oh, that's very pretty. That's like a muted. All of these colors are actually pretty muted. I love them. This next one is the green. Oh, look at that green. That's so pretty. And here it is on the white. Oh, that's gorgeous. Next is turquoise. Oh, I really love these pencils already. Oh my goodness. Next is silver mint. Oh, I wanted to see this color. Oh my goodness, and look at that. <laughs> oh, that is the most beautiful color. Look at that, how gorgeous. It looks sort of like an olive green. The next one is yellow. Oh, that's gorgeous. The next one is gold. See how pretty this gold is. That's really pretty. Now, I don't know if I mentioned it, but this is the Nina paper here that I'm using. I've been trying to use this paper a little bit more because the Spring Hill has been unavailable and I'm really trying to like this paper. <laughs> but I'm so sad the Spring Hill's not available anymore. That was my favorite paper. Okay, so here's the antique gold. That's a pretty color. It looks sort of brown, has a lot of brown in it. We have just a couple more. This is the bronze. Oh my gosh, and they layer so nicely too. Like the color is going right down on that paper. So nice. I think they're actually working really well on this construction paper, <laughs> which is odd. <laughs> Next we have copper. Oh, the colors that come in this set are just gorgeous. This is the graphite. And this one's not gonna show up very well on that black. This one is the pewter. And I just realized what I did after I got this far. I was gonna start with the silver, but then I ended up going back again. I missed a color somewhere, so I need to go figure out which one it was. Okay, so that's what I did. I was gonna start with the silvers, so I started way down here and was planning on going that way, but then I started reaching for the colors that were closest to me way down here. <laughs> So I ended up skipping the rose gold. So we're gonna go ahead and swatch that one out down here. But that is the rose gold. That's really pretty. And now all of mine are out of order. I think in here they came in a pretty good order. 
I'm going to end up re-swatching these anyway onto a colored pencil chart. I was just using these sheets of paper here for the video so that I could swatch them out with y'all. But here are all the colors and they are just beautiful. Look at these. So now that we could see them all laid out on the swatch chart, we could actually see how, how these uh, colors here that have pink and red in them actually look down on the paper. Look at all these gorgeous colors. And then of course my last one, the rose gold is down here, but look at, they look really, really beautiful. Now some of them you can't see as well here on the black paper. This graphite color here, you could see it very, very well on the white paper. And the purple here is rather dark and then you could see it much better here on the white paper. So you do get a couple purples, and you can see those here. So you get a purple and a violet, and then we get our blues, which are really beautiful. Look at that ice blue, and this green is gorgeous, and I'm in love with that silver mint. But we get a turquoise and a silver mint, and then we get this yellow that looks more like an olive green. I mean, it has yellow in it, but it doesn't look like it has that much yellow in it to me. It looks like it falls more towards green. So we get a gold, and then we get an antique gold, which has a lot more brown in it. Then we get our bronze and a copper. That's gorgeous. Look at that copper on the black paper. That's beautiful. And then graphite, which we can't see again on the black paper, but you can see how gorgeous that color is. And then pewter and rose gold. Now I'm gonna hold it a little bit closer for y'all so you could see if you could see the metallic reflection in any of these colors. I'll do the black first and I'll just move down. And I'm gonna turn it just a little bit so y'all could see. Let me move a little closer. And then y'all can let me know if you can see the metallic sheen and the black paper doesn't do as well under the camera the way the camera focuses on it and changes the lighting, but hopefully you can see it. So let me go ahead and turn it to the side and then back again and try to get it under that light. So let's do the white swatch now and see what these colors look like. So let me go ahead and just scroll all the way down so you can see all the colors. And now I'm gonna sort of go back and forth so y'all can see the metallic sheen if there is one. I can see a little bit of the metallic sheen on these. Let me go ahead and turn it maybe to the side and then back again. Y'all have to let me know what you think in the comments. So I'm thinking that the metallic sheen in these shows up a little bit more on the black paper. Y'all have to let me know what you think in the comments below. But I don't know how much metallic sheen I actually see over here on the white paper. They look a lot like just very muted colors, which is nice. I mean, they're beautiful. I love these colors in this set. But over here on the black paper, I could definitely see some metallic to them, especially on the yellow here. That one looks like it's got quite a bit of metallic sheen, but I'm not seeing it as much on the white paper. I would love to hear your thoughts on that in the comments below. So let's go ahead and move on to the blend test. So I chose my colors for the blend test and I'm going to go with some of these gorgeous colors here because they're just, I think, my favorites in this set. But I'm going to go with the red and the silver rose and the pink gold. I think those will be really pretty together. And we're going to see how these pencils lay down. So I'm going to start with my red, which is my darkest color. Oh, these are so pretty. And then I'm going to come in with my silver rose and blend that right into this. Oh, and they're blending together beautifully. Look at that. Look at that transition there. Oh, wow, these are nice. And then the last one is the pink gold. Oh, these blend together beautifully. I think that they feel more like a wax-based pencil, but they are a little bit harder. So that is my second color. And we're gonna come back a second time with the silver rose and then the pink gold. These colors are gorgeous. So let's go back the other direction. Look at me being all slanted again. <laughs> my color blend is so slanted. So I'm just pulling this down into the other color and oh my gosh, these go down so nice. And look at the color just laying down on the paper, blending right into the other color. Oh, I love these so far. I can't wait to try these in a coloring book. Let's go ahead and go back one more time the other way. I think this is maybe the fourth layer. 
and you can see a little bit of crumbs but not many and you're gonna get that with a lot of colored pencils a lot of times I feel like I get that much more with wax based pencils than I do with oil based pencils and these do lay down much more like a wax based pencil I think oh yes I definitely think so the color is moving around much like a waxed based pencil oh yeah I need to do a little bit more research and see what these are marketed as. But just so you know, all pencils do have wax and oil in them. It's just always a different ratio of one compared to the other. So that's how they determine whether a pencil is wax-based or oil-based. It depends on the ratio of the wax versus the oil. So let's come back with another layer. I'm able to get quite a few layers down with these and look at the color just moving around. Now it moves around, but these Yes, these are a wax-based pencil. Look at that color moving around. Oh my goodness, I love it. But the color is moving around and you can really see that shine. And I'm starting to be able to fill some of the white of the paper, but the color is so movable. And I don't find that in a lot of oil-based pencils. So let me come back with my last color. And that color just continues to go down. Look at that. Oh y'all, these are nice. These are really nice. And I'm sure I can continue to keep coming back with a uh, layer upon layer. Let me try one more time, but I've got a lot of color down there on the paper. I don't even know how many layers I've laid down so far, but there's a lot of color laid down here and a lot of the weight of the paper is really starting to cover now. But I'm sure with these, I could continue to just keep coming back and keep coming back. The color just piles on. These are so nice. Oh my goodness. I really, really like these. Okay, y'all, so I really do like these pencils. They are super, super nice. They go down on the paper so beautifully. I can't wait to use these in a coloring book. If you wanna see me color with these in a coloring book, or even test them out in different coloring books, let me know in the comments what you would like to see, and I would be glad to bring you the, those videos. But this is a really nice set of metallic colored pencils. I mean, you only get 20 colors, but you could do a lot with 20 colors, y'all. And when you're a beginner and you only have a few colors to choose from and you're putting colors together, it makes it a lot less overwhelming than if you have a whole ton of colors sitting in front of you. So a set like this would probably be perfect for that, but I really wanna use these in a coloring book. So if you'd like to see that, definitely let me know. And I'm really surprised by this blend test. They blended really, really well. The colors included in this set are just absolutely gorgeous. And I'm just really surprised by these. I really, really like them. If you have this set of pencils, you'll have to let me know your thoughts down in the comments below as well. If you've tried them in several different coloring books and you have found one that works really, really well, that is a perfect paper to pencil match, please let us know that as well. Everything you've seen in this video, I will have down in the description box below. I hope y'all enjoyed this review on the Derwent Metallic colored pencils. Have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next video. Happy coloring. Bye.